We've arrived in LA. How's it going? Oh man, I got such a bad headache. Traveling just makes me feel blah. Even though the flight was only two hours, just makes me feel yeah. But yeah, this room is super nice. Check it out. Ooh. Also got these giant Hershey's kisses too. Oh no, these are the insides. I might have definitely broken that one. Bedroom, check. Massive mirror. Check. Massive bathroom and the biggest shower in the world. Check. Small toilet. Check. But, here we go. Huh. Oh. Huh. Awesome view of LA. Check. Oh, there's dogs down here. Oh, look at these dogs. <laughs> but yeah, look. Awesome view of LA through the trees, anyway. I think that's a dog park down there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I've made it. I've got a mad headache. I need to drink some more water, chill out for a bit. And then, the good thing about LA is that I don't have many plans. Actually, have a cool plan tomorrow and the day after, so I lied. But um, yeah, welcome to LA, again. Before this tour, I've been to LA zero times, and now this is the fifth. How crazy is that? So, I just fired up Netflix, but change of plan, I'm going to go and see Wonder Woman instead, which I somehow haven't seen yet. I've actually met the director of Wonder Woman, she came to see the show, so it'll be awesome to see what she created, because I've heard it's amazing. Review coming up. Okay, Wonder Woman was incredible. It's actually the next day now, because I got in from Wonder Woman, and just literally did some editing and fell straight asleep, but now I am heading to the Fine Brothers Studios, well their offices, to go and check out what they've got going on and also film some stuff for YouTubers React, which I'm sure you've seen before. We've been trying to sort this out for ages, so let's go. So filming at Fine Bros was super fun, but we just made it to the Griffith Observatory. It's actually an amazing uh, planetarium right here. Got loads of cool stuff about space, real bits of moon, but I've also got an amazing sunset. For now, we're gonna go out for dinner, of course, always eating. Food was awesome, as you've seen. I've been really bad at vlogging again, but I've just done the most hype stream ever. I've literally moved the table all the way from here to here again for the amazing light outside. We had 55,000 people watch me by the end of the hour when a bed was legit. It was amazing, but I did have to skip the first 20 minutes of a meeting, so I should probably go to that. And then I'm actually getting a tattoo today. I'm actually getting two tattoos today, but uh, I need to do this meeting first, head straight to the tattoo place and get it done, and I'll explain the meaning behind it when I'm done, because I don't think I'm gonna have time to explain before, because it's a special one. Not that any of these ones aren't special, every one that I have that has a meaning, but this one's super special, so I don't know what I'm gonna vlog, we'll find out, let's go. Two all done. Unfortunately, I can't show you because they don't put cling film on over here. They just put an armband on you, but it's done. I'll show you later. So I'm back in the hotel room now, and um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you about my new tattoos. I got two, as you guys know, and um, this is the first one. I got a big blue heart right here on my arm. So the whole idea of my right arm was to get it completely black and white, but I've recently decided to put little splashes of color in there. Uh, the biggest part being this big blue heart, which is for Gemma basically. This will probably be the biggest color, the brightest tattoo on this right arm, and she is the, the biggest, brightest part of me. So, um, yeah, that's why I got that one. And then, my other one is this. I got the words, have fun, and then a tiny little ribbon here in pink, because, um, this is all handwritten by me. It's exactly my handwriting. And as many of you guys know on Twitter, that is pretty much the motto that I live by, have fun. That's all that matters, because there's lots of times when, even when I'm doing cool stuff, it can get really stressful, it can get really Really, um, it can make me feel really down sometimes, but I just need to remember to have fun. That's all that matters, and I think a lot of people could, if they apply that to their life, then they'll have a lot better life. And um, the ribbon is actually to commemorate not just, it's, it's the pink ribbon for cancer, but it's not necessarily just for that. It's just a ribbon to commemorate all the, the Team TDM members that I have met who are still around, and some who unfortunately aren't still around, because I've met some amazing people specifically, ones that will stay with me forever, and unfortunately aren't still around are Henry and Lucas. Those are two incredibly special kids who always have 
a part in my heart and I really wanted to commemorate them in this motto because no matter what I go through in my life it will be nothing compared to what they went through in their little lives so um yeah I wanted to get that from them there's also two other people I want to dedicate this tattoo to and it's um, Monica and Tony who did actually appear in the vlog uh, I think the second vlog I did while I was out here because I met them as part of a hospital visit when I went to Atlanta and um, Monica actually had cancer for the third time she was I think 21 or 22 having cancer for the third time when you're 22 and still getting treated for it is I can't even imagine what that feels like and she was the most happy upbeat and inspiring person I've ever met so um I really wanted to get something like the ribbon tattoo because she had one too so that's my little nod to her so if you're watching you really did have a massive impact on my thoughts the way I live my life so um thank you and Tony you are just as incredible as well so thank you but this is not only dedicated to those four people uh this tattoo right here is dedicated to all of you guys too literally everyone I've ever met everyone I talked to through this Silly little camera. Basically, remember to have fun in your life. You guys have allowed me to have as much fun as I can in my life. So, um, this one's dedicated to you and those very special four little people that I've met before. So, um, yeah, I love you guys, and that is my little ode to you and what you allowed me to do with my life. So, thank you, and I hope it means a lot to you too. So, LA, guess it's time to get going. So, uh, three days in LA already up. It went super quick, but I guess I need to get to Portland to do a show tomorrow. So we're gonna fly to Portland. It's probably gonna take like two or three hours. Land there at about 3 p.m., 4 p.m., sleep, do a show, and then three more shows after that, the tour is over until Australia, which apparently went really well because the tickets went on sale last night. They've sold out already. Less than 12 hours, insane. You guys are incredible. So yeah, I should probably finish packing up and then get out of here. I don't know what my hair is doing. What is this? Anyway, flying montage number 643, go. Portland, what up? I'm afraid it's a, a flying visit for me today. Um, I'm literally checking out in like five minutes. <laughs> I took the day off from the internet yesterday, which I've never done before, and it was great. So, quick room tour, because this room's amazing. Huge bed, cool desk, big TV, sofa, amazing bathroom. Look at the gold stuff, it looks so cool. That's pretty much it. So, um, today, Portland is the fourth to last show, if that makes sense, and the third to last meet and greet. So, I've got a meet and greet and one show today. Tomorrow's a show, and then Sunday is two shows to finish off the US tour. I'm excited. I'm also a little bit upset. It's going to be finished in the US, which is crazy. We only have two weeks in Australia left in two months time, which is nuts. But I've recorded a few videos this morning, had breakfast. I'm stocked up until the end of the tour now, which is only a couple of days away. And I guess we should get going. I need to eat, check out and get to the venue. Let's do this. Final day of the Dan TDM US tour in Seattle, Washington. That's crazy. So today we've actually got two shows which we haven't done since week two of the second leg of the tour, which is going to be, I think it's show 50 and 51 on the US tour, but in total it's show 86 and 87, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe tomorrow I'm literally getting on a flight to go home. That is absolutely insane. The love on this tour has been crazy. It's gonna be weird not seeing some of you guys literally every day. <laughs> I mean, apart from when you guys spot me in the street, but I mean, in this amount of people every weekend, definitely going to miss it. Of course, we have Australia coming up. But that's about two months away from now. So it's gonna be good to get some rest time, but I'm definitely gonna miss it. And I'm gonna miss America a lot because I love this place. And this year, I've spent over 13 weeks over here which is insane but let's not get too sad now because we still got two shows left to do i still got one meeting we left to do so let's do this That's it. 
we're done. I actually can't believe it. 51 shows in the United States and we've also driven through every single United State apart from Alaska and Hawaii because they're on, well one's an island and one's off the, I think the left hand side of Canada so we didn't make it to Canada either but so today, well yesterday even, in Seattle I saw loads of you from Canada so thanks for making the trip, sorry we couldn't make it to Canada this time but um, yeah, the Dan TDM US tour is done, I can't believe it. Now in total, including the UK shows, we've done 87 shows so um, I've literally got two months off now from doing touring uh, not including any rehearsals or anything or changing the show but um, then we go off to Australia to do 10 more shows. We'll finish on 97, which is close to 100, so we're gonna have to see if we can squeeze out that 100th show. But um, yeah, this experience has been absolutely phenomenal. Again, I just wanna thank all of you guys for coming out. I, I literally can't believe the response. By the time we get to Australia, we probably would have performed in front of over 250,000 people. That's, that's a quarter of a million people, and considering there's 15 million people on this channel subscribed, you guys watching this, that is incredible. Thank you so much for the support and also, I can't believe it's over. <laughs> but it's a little bit bittersweet because I had an incredible time on tour, visiting so many places, seeing so many people, an amazing crew and everything. But now, I get to fly home in literally about two hours on a nine and a half hour flight to go and see Jem and the Pugs. I am so excited. I saw, I saw Jem like two weeks ago, still feels like forever ago, but um, the Pugs I haven't seen for six weeks. I'm not sure I did this last time, but I'm gonna film their reaction to me coming home, because last time it was so, so funny. So, let's do this. The final flying montage happens now. I love you guys. Yes! Hey, boss! <laughs> hey, no! Oh no, they kissed each other. Did you see that? Ellie just kissed Peggy. Ouch. I'm home! <laughs> finally made it. Guys, after six weeks, I'm finally back home and Ellie. Is being real grumpy. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> she looks so tiny. I think the guys were happy to see me. Were you happy, Darcy? You happy? Look at her teeth. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's so good to be home. Again, thank you so much for the support on the tour. It's been absolutely incredible. Let me put you down. Ugh. Pug hairs everywhere. But you know what? I am excited to get back to making normal videos again because all the ones that went up over the past six weeks have been ones that I recorded in this room up here. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be good to get back into my office and make videos as of tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's vlog and wrap up the tour vlogs for a bit until we go to Australia in about two months, I guess. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video seen by me, make sure you join the best team on YouTube team TDM today for daily videos apart from that guys from me and the little puggies down here where's the third one where are you where are you there you are <laughs> it's a massive goodbye from us and I'll see you in the next one bye